Well, hi. The little boys are waiting to come out. Of course, they're all a year old now, so I don't know so much that they're little boys. Now I'm going to come let them free run in the backyard. You can see I just put out a whole bunch of apple bits. Got a little bucket with some grass and weeds that I pulled from the turtle pond. A little bit of leftover cedar from a branch I cut down. You can see up there where I cut it. <clears throat> Let's go let them out and see what they want to have. They can enjoy some treats in the backyard. And you can enjoy watching them. Take a little walk with me. Hello, babies. Hello, boys. Hello, boys. Boy, you guys are eager. You got some treats out there for you? Here's the turtle pen. You can see where I pulled out some of the weeds. You can see James Bond over there. All right, boys. Well, come on. <laughs> come on. They got stuck here at the gate wanting to say hi real quick. On their way. Um, for those of you, excuse me, you, who usually watch my videos, the reason I'm going so slowly is because a week ago the goats knocked one of these <clears throat> Russian olive pieces on my foot. It is not healed yet. Look at him go. Jetta's over there at the greens. Sky and Zacchaeus are over here getting apples. <clears throat> and this right there is a little bit of leftover water iris. We had a few too many growing up in the bullfrog pond. Some of the baby turtles can fit through the tunnel to go to the bullfrog pond. And the bullfrog pond was overgrowing with those. Chris pulled some out, and the goats have been chewing on those, too. The regular irises will upset a goat's stomach, so they will not want to eat it. They'll avoid it. But this uh, water iris, I've not looked up if it's healthy for them or not, but they do seem to enjoy eating it, whether it's healthy or not. Didn't like that piece, huh, Jetta? So there's about two and a half apples cut up in pieces between the three goats as a nice treat for them. The other half of the apple I cut up with a tomato for the turtles. And the goats will eat tomato too, but the turtles really enjoy tomato. So I put that out there for them. Let's check back over here at Sky. Sky. Eating some cedar and some apple. <laughs> Jetta, Jetta, Jetta. And Zacchaeus is eating some of the greens now. Some of the grass and weeds. Let's do a little close up on Zacchaeus. Wherever he goes. Those are Kia's mouth. Here comes Sky. I like the frosting on his ears and his nose. And there's my Sky. Sky. Over by Zacchaeus. And there's our Jetta. It's our Jetta boy. Hi, 
Hi, Jetta. <laughs> it's back out so we can get your face. Hi, Jetta. Jetta, Jetta, Jetta. Such is. The sky. That's my goat. That's my goat. Oh, Jetta. See, and they're sometimes picky. As you can look here and say, well, what's wrong with that piece of apple? Probably nothing, and they'll probably eat it later. But for whatever reason, and what's wrong with that apple? Why'd you look at it and put your lips on it, but not eat it? Who knows? Jed is back over by the greens again. <laughs> so have a great day today i hope you enjoyed this video of the goats there's plenty more on my channel if you ever forget my channel and you haven't subscribed but you want to watch some more goats just go to youtube and look up go to goat girl and you'll find me that's what i'm under god bless you